everyone! So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram pictures. I'm just going to go ahead and put this out there. I don't think I have the best Instagram feed ever. I actually think my Instagram feed sucks. I literally just post whatever I want, whenever I want. I will post five selfies in a row if I want to. Like, I don't really care about my feed. I wish I did care about my feed because I love people who have nice Instagram feeds. That's something that I want to work on. I just thought it'd be kind of nice to show you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures because I do use the same filters and settings on all of my pictures. I have kind of little tips and tricks that I use for myself that I want to share with you guys. So if you guys want to see how I edit my Instagram pictures, just keep watching. The first picture I'm going to show you how I edit is a selfie. I, like I said before, I just copy and paste the same exact um, edit on all of my pictures. So what I do is I use the filter A6 and I kind of bring it down a little bit to like 8 or 9. It depends on the picture. So I put this one here, and that's it for the filters, and then I kind of just mess around with the um, settings of the picture, like I put the exposure down a little bit, and then I get the contrast, put that down a little bit, and then I like to sharpen the picture, make it, you know, like more clear than what it already is, so I do that a little bit, and then I like to, sometimes I put the saturation up if it's, um, kind of like nature pictures. I really like having nice like pictures of mountains with the saturation up or like pictures of the ocean or the sky. But this obviously is not a picture of like nature so I'm not going to put the saturation up. What I also like to do is fix the highlight. You can see in, in my face how it kind of evens it all out. I'm going to put it about to five. Put a little bit of grain in there. And that's it. That's pretty much what I do. This is the before picture, and then this is the after. That's all I do to edit my pictures, and then what I do is I click copy edits right here. I just paste the edit onto another picture. That's for pretty much just all of my pictures. That's what I do with all of my pictures if they're just like normal pictures like that. And I would just copy the edit and paste it on a another picture. And then obviously, depending on the picture, I would adjust it. I would put the exposure more down or higher or I would just like fix the settings to fit the picture you know obviously if I copy the same edit and use it on every picture it's not going to look the same because the lighting in every picture that you take is just not going to look the same so the next picture I'm going to show you how I edit is when I go out and I look really bad but I still take pictures and I look like a ghost and the picture looks nice but my face does not so I'm talking about a specific picture right here. You can see I look dead in the picture. You can see my dark circles. You can just like, my face does not look good, but the picture itself I like. So what I do and what app I use for that is Perfect365. All right, so here we go. Perfect365 is to edit your face. You can put makeup on your face if you want. You can like make your cheeks a little bit red, put some blush, put some foundation on, whiten your teeth, it's really nice. So what I like to do and use it for is for my dark circles because I don't wear makeup 90% of the time ever. I only wear makeup when I'm filming a video or if I'm going out and I want to look nice. But if I'm just like hanging out with my friends, I rarely will wear makeup. So this was a day that we went out and we took pictures and my face was not working with me. So what I do is you go on tools. Here you can see you can edit your face, your lips, your eyes. So I'm editing my eyes and it has a little spot for circles, like dark circles. And then you just put it up and there you go. Dark circles all gone, just like that. So there we go, I did that. And you can also like add some makeup, eyelashes if you want. Here's some eyelashes. I don't really use that because I feel like the eyelashes look kind of fake and I don't like how it looks because look if you look right here you can see the eyelashes aren't like on my hair so obviously it looks like I photoshopped it. I also don't like how my eyebrows are really bushy right now like look at my eyebrows right now they're bushy. I'm getting them done tomorrow but what you can do is go back to eyebrows and you can kind of pick your eyebrow shape and you know I like to make it really dark at first just to see which one fits my eyebrow shape the best like I think it's this one and then you just kind of like lighten it like this is see there we go there I fixed my eyebrows this is before 
after. And there you go. That is how I do it. Then I would just save that picture and go back on to VS Co. And then I would copy the, I'm going to copy the edit that I used for the selfie and then paste it on that picture that I just posted. And I would click the picture and there's, the picture's a little too dark so I'm going to put the exposure up a tiny weeny bit. Let's see, mess with the contrast. No, I like the contrast as is. Um, kind of like it with the saturation down a little bit, and that is how I. Oh, I kind of like it. All right, and then skin tone. No, nope. and there we go. That is how I edit that picture. That's pretty much what I do for my face if there's something on my face. The next picture that I'm going to edit is this one right here and you can see that the background looks really nice like the colors in the background look really nice but you can't see me I'm too dark the picture is just like too dark overall I love the background but I don't like how I'm dark when I edit that picture on VS Co let's go to exposure if I make it really light the background is really light and it messes that up and if I make it dark obviously it makes me darker so what I want to do is I want to make myself lighter but not the background lighter so I would adjust it to how light I like it so I would save this picture all right then I would go on this app called PixArt and I would put that picture on it so this is the picture that I like how I look but I don't like the background so now I have to get the original picture with the nice background I just click add photo and it's right over here somewhere. There we go. It's loading. There we go. And then you would just align it to the picture. So I like to put the opacity down a little bit. That's how I would align it. And then I like to put the opacity all the way up. And then what I go is the top, this little top corner, there's an eraser. I would click that and then just erase myself because obviously I'm trying to be brighter. So I want to keep my brighter self and not erase the background. Make sure you don't erase the background because that would defeat the purpose. But I like having this grass near me a little lighter and I like the background grass to be darker so I would just kind of erase this and there we go obviously I would take my time on this I'm just kind of trying to show you what I did to edit the picture but I would take my time like I would zoom in you know like take my time like making the edges look nice and not bad but for the sake of this video I'm just gonna do it quick but you can see that it's already looks so much better. So what I would do is I would save that to my camera roll and then I would go on VS Co, put that picture that I just saved and then I would go back with the filters. A6, I'm gonna put that down a little bit. I don't really like too much of this filter on this certain picture so I'm gonna put that to five. And then exposure, I'm gonna leave it as is because I don't like it. Contrast, I'm gonna put that down just a little bit. I'm going to sharpen it a little bit and like I said this is a picture with like mountains and nature pictures so I'm going to put the saturation up not too much but you know just to get them out highlight I'm going to fix that but just a little bit and then grain a little bit of grain and there we go that is what I would do so now I'm just going to crop it to a square because I don't like the top part and that is how I edit that picture I'm going to show you the before and after picture so you can see so this is the before picture and then this is the after and you can see already how better it looks and how the picture isn't so dark that is how I edit that and obviously there's a tons of other things that you can do to edit your pictures but that is what I do like really like I said the beginning of this video I don't really do much to edit my pictures I just copy and paste the same exact filter and put it on another picture those are like my three little tricks like if there's something wrong with my face I use it the perfect 365 
and if there's something wrong with like the background I use the Pixar and if there's nothing wrong with it I just copy the edit and just paste it onto it that is how I edit my Instagram pictures if you guys want to go follow me on Instagram to see more pictures that I post, I'll have my Instagram down below. And if you do edit any of your pictures with the filters and tricks that I showed you, definitely tag me on Instagram because I would love to see your creations and what you guys post. Yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.